Well, this is the first regular route school bus in the district to be outfitted with seatbelts. They just got it a couple of weeks ago. It'll go into service by the first of the year. Crash tests like this, a semi versus a school bus, really drive the point home. Crash dummies wearing seatbelts are okay. Some without get ejected. That test had a company in Hamilton County last year. This year in Shelby County. They all come with three belts per seat. Shelby Eastern is the second district in that area to decide that every bus they buy from now on will come with seat belts. So just like a car, you got to get it adjusted. One new bus per year, a lap and shoulder harness for each child at a cost of about $400 more per seat than the old buses. New district policy says if the belts are there, students have to wear them. This will just be another bus world that we'll need to get used to. It keeps everybody from sitting sideways, talking where there is no protection. Beyond that, it seems to also positively affect discipline. Students who are in their seats more are less likely to be jumping up and down when the, when the bus is riding, and so you have more of a, more of a controlled environment throughout. Several school corporations in Fort Wayne have made changes to their fleet, but right now, Indiana law does not require seatbelts on school buses except for preschoolers. Eight states nationwide do have laws in place, and more are considering making seatbelts mandatory. A deadly crash in New Jersey involving a school bus this past spring sparked a push for safety. It's a good move to keep everybody in place. And protection is why they're being proactive in Shelby County, one new bus at a time. All of the students who ride the bus in Shelby Eastern Schools will actually be given training, hands-on training over the next several weeks, how to use these, what the expectations are on the bus, again, all meant to keep them safer. Jenny Renovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.